Hey guys, Drew from Because Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I'm going to be doing a technique for Jiu Jitsu times. And this one is a great way to use a forearm choke, which oftentimes isn't used as an actual submission, but if you do it properly, it can be a, a devastating submission. So we're going to set it up from side control. Check this out. So we're going to start from a typical orthodox side control. We're controlling under the head, under the arm. Got nice low posture on the, the near side here, chest to chest pressure. So oftentimes, people will use this style of forearm choke where we're coming across, getting the thumb in, and just dropping this forearm down. But the, the problem is it's very easy to defend for the person above. If they know anything, they're just gonna lift their arm up. Yeah, and that's often why people want to use this because they're being defensive with that arm. And so I'm gonna try this until he moves his arm, and then I'm gonna start attacking the arm. But we can actually set this up in a way that will get this tap. So the reason why his defense works when he brings his arm up is because I need to bring my elbow to the ground to get this finish, or at least towards the ground. And here, I'm dropping it into his armpit when he brings his arm up. So I'm bottoming out before I get any pressure on the neck. So what I'm gonna do here is, one of the keys to isolating something before you attack it, this is a concept I went over in a different video, is making sure that his defenses are taken care of preemptively. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that both of his arms are out of the equation before I attack his neck. I'm gonna start with this bar arm here since I'm already underneath it by coming right here or here and just closing it in a circle right here which keeps it out of this area up here. You can't interfere anymore with that hand. And now this one up here, he's going to uh, either be trying to, yeah, block that already, maybe this is where we started, or maybe I don't have that grip yet, and I'm just going to preemptively deal with this. And the way I'm gonna do that is bringing this top knee here up and over top of it, stapling it, and then dragging it back. So now I've opened up that space, we turn a little bit. I've opened up this space right here where I need my elbow to drop from that choke. Before, with his arm up here, it was always gonna drop onto his arm, so I bring that knee up, staple, and drag. So now I've got that space open again. So again, we're keeping this nice and close. I've stapled and dragged that arm out of the way. Now I can come thumb in. I don't care if he buries his chin down to his chest, I can just drive my arm against and bring that elbow to the ground to get the tap. And he has no arms available to defend it. So again, from the start, we're here in side control. We're gonna block this arm to begin with. If this one's already in the way, we're gonna come up, staple it, drag it, bring this thumb in, and then drop this elbow to the ground for the tap. So I hope you liked that one. Tell me if it works. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Jiu Jitsu Times YouTube channel and also to the Because Jiu Jitsu YouTube channel. We'll see you there.